Okay, good evening everybody. Um, welcome to the fan zone. I wonder if Rowley's check will actually mute us. Um, you know, he's uh, verified now and all those 101 things, right? So good evening everybody. Um, Kenze Funk is in the house. We've got Theo's in the house. Uh, Styles is in the house. Thank you to Styles for holding it down for us. And if I'm not mistaken, I think the Wiz is holding it down for Craigie G at Swadish, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I saw Jerenice is here. Uh, Byron's here. Hello, Francine. Hello, Auntie Nessie. Auntie Vanessa, good evening to you. And there was... Bronwyn. Bronwyn. How's it, Bronwyn? Okay, guys. Um, as you can see, we've, we, we are touching on two very special people um, tonight. Wait. Before you go on... The song that we played in with, the name of the song is Feel Good, and the artist is Roland Elephant. So, guys, that's one of Roly's songs on one of his CDs. So, yes, December, that was our December very March. own Roly. Okay, so, um, if you guys did not touch base, if you guys did not watch 
the stream last week, Wednesday, we were speaking about cerebral palsy, um, creating awareness around that with our Let's Talk uh, with Fan Zone, our more serious topics on Wednesday evenings. Guys, if you have not tuned into that stream, please go and give it a watch. Um, it's extremely informative. We actually spoke to a mom who has a kid that um, has that challenge, if I can call it that. Um, so we just touched base with the Ross family. They gave us a little bit of insight into their home and what really goes on um, with the challenges that they were facing. So we lit up the comments department green on Wednesday if you missed it. If um, you're tuning in with us on Wednesday, we are talking about depression. So we're going to light up the comments blue. You're going to hear what the fan zone has to say about that. I myself personally have, have encountered depression, um, but we will touch base on that on Wednesday. Okay, so um, our greetings are done. Uh, if Kenze Funky and Mr. Uh, Rowley would like to click on their stream so that we can bring them on board and we can zabalaza the tunes. We're going to talk to those two special guys tonight. Um, they're going to tell us what's moving and shaking. Obviously, I think there's actually quite a few of you guys who who are unfamiliar, unfamiliar to to them, to their music, to their sounds, to their tunes. So we just thought we'd bring them on board. We're going to be going into December, guys. Can you believe it? And I think some of their tracks are the tracks for December. So yes. Um, Wait for Kenza, you asked me what's moving and shaking here. I hope that we'll be able to hear them. You know us and our Kremlins, but it's about we will tackle that. Rowley's been re ready from like four o'clock and yet <laughs> And we're waiting. Come and on, guys. Waiting. Click on the link. Wayne, good evening to you. Um, I think I've greeted everybody else. Right. So, if our two people can join us, we would like to hear what's moving and shaking with you guys. Okay. I'm going to go to a song until we wait, till, till they decide to walk like, into the studio. Like, I mean, like, seriously, guys, click on the link. I know women always late, but guys, <laughs> what is going on? Okay, we're gonna play a song, guys. We're gonna look at this man. I'm in by myself. We why are they in the wrong? Stream? Okay, we're gonna play a song, guys, and then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh God. We got uh, Kenze Funky in house. Kenze, I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm gonna bring you in just now, boy. Uh, where is Rowley? Now must be phone this guy. Hey man, this Nigarachi here. Yeah. Guys, look, look at him. You got time to be comments. Rowley, Rowley, don't irritate me. No, you just click on the link. Rowley, please do not irritate me. You have been ready from I don't know what time. Hey. This guy, yeah. Okay, guys, just give us a moment. Let us let us see what's moving and shaking, and then we will. Let me phone this guy because really, really, I mean, like really, I can't believe this lady. It's those three jinks you was having. Okay, guys, just give us some time. Let us get all of those. Let's phone our guest. What's her?
Click on the new link okay, that is sent you. Okay, we sent you a new link because I don't know what happened to that other link. So Zabalazi in the group, the new link, and then, yeah. Okay, so that has been waiting right. backstage in another stream. Yeah, sorry guys. When I pre thing this thing, and then it resets, I can say it was the same thing. You can see I'm nodding there. Just wait backstage. <laughs> We're coming to you. Oh, there's Noli! Right, we've got our members in the, <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, what's moving and shaking? Okay, can you guys hear us? Hi, guys. Yes, I can. Yes, Good I morning. Now. Speak louder, guys. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can. can you what? hear me? I, I can hear everyone. I don't know if you can hear I me. I can hear you, Rowley. <laughs> can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, there you I can go. Hear you. The... Can you hear me? R Roz and Tony, your sound is very downgraded. The quality. How about is... me? How about me? No, you fine. Man? You fine. Oh, yeah. I, I know this. Okay, hold on. <laughs> hey, one, two, three. I'm feeling famous can you hear me right now? now, guys. <laughs> you are yes, famous. I can, hear you. can you can you hear us now? <laughs> yes. We can yes, hear you. I can hear you. Guys, we are not Ooh, the only people hearing hear? this. Everyone on the stream Wait. can hear us confused <laughs> with one another. You're also yeah, waiting in backstage, Rowling. Hey, Rowling, you're waiting in backstage yeah. as well. Okay, testing, testing. Yes, yes, I was waiting backstage. Can you hear us now? Uh, yes, we I can. can. We can still hear. Let's go on ah, because see. people are watching. This is not <laughs> okay. No. Okay, right, there, there you go. go. Right, good evening, guys, and welcome to the fan zone. Um, I know Rowley is no stranger to this platform. He has been dealing with us on a regular basis, and actually, part and parcel as to how we become the fan zone. Kenza, we would like to welcome you. Um, I know Roseanne personally has been dying to meet you. Like you have no idea. Hello, Rosie, um, and don't die. So, yes, we're very, excited. we're very excited to have you guys on board. There is a few things that we need to discuss this evening. Um, normally, when we when we invite people, we normally tell them, like, we're going here, we're going here, we're going to speak about this, speak about that, just to give them a direction. we got no direction this evening. I think I'm rolling with this interview tonight. No, you're not. Yes. Ooh. Yeah, hold on, you. No, <laughs> okay, fair. So, who's the boss? <laughs> Okay, so guys, before we go into any questions, let Kenze introduce yourself, and then once you're done, then Zoli, can you give a little introduction? <laughs> Is it me? Is it my time now? Should I count? Yes, it's your time to shine. Your time to shine. Hello, everybody. My name is Kenze Funky. I am an artist. <laughs> 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 What's happening, people? What's going on? Give us a little bit more about me. Yeah. Yes, like oh, where you've oh, done. It's a delay. Um, Hold on. <clears throat> well, I'm from Durban. Uh, the accent should give it away. You know how we do. So, I. Lack of what? Of my accent? Yeah, you in, I've been in Durban, I don't have an accent to add it. <laughs> I've been bougie even when I was in town. <laughs> <laughs> away. 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 You get what I'm saying? That should confirm my Durbanism, yeah. my R's. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well. yeah so well. um I've, I've well. been in I've been in Joburg for what is it, seven years now? Uh but born and bred in the tags, Tegween. That's my home. Um, is my language Selena. a problem? Like, if, if I swear, will you get in trouble? Because I don't do it intentionally, Possibly. but I have a Yes, yes. Yeah, no, no. Okay, I'll, I'll try to. No, no, I actually wanted to tell you, um, Pancakes is not even censored, and we're playing it this evening. So if we get fired, but it's because radio, of you. There's a clean version. Why are you, why are you trying to cause trouble? Hey, I never, I never think that's a <laughs> notification. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll deal with that later. No flops. <laughs> so okay, so are you done with the introduction? 
or would you like to share a little bit more? I, I can go on, but let's leave it for the interview. No, so we'll you wait, have something we'll to ask me, you know. <laughs> okay. Zaudi, can we hear your introduction? <laughs> we want dusty groups <laughs> and we want more in your introduction, please. Okay. Um, I'm only very shy and nervous, guys. Voice. Seriously, Why I'm very really shy and nervous. <laughs> I'm just actually <laughs> like that. When I'm when I'm on the DJ stand, that's all I act, guys. I'm really not that outspoken. <laughs> and um, so yeah, I'm Roland. Everyone knows me from <laughs> Dusty Groove and the Warp Zone. <laughs> there, yeah, I included mm-hmm. it. Um, yeah, I've been a DJ for twenty six years. Uh, I've been making music probably for just as long. And yeah, um, I met, well, I'm going to talk about Kensei now, who I still might accidentally every now and then call Loki. Please forgive me. That's fine. Um, that is more but than I met him. Wait, who was Loki? Well, yeah. we, why, why, why is Loki? In your okay, so, so, so when, I, when I met Darian, his artist name. His Brad, artist's you know how name many was people Loki. are ducking and you're putting my government <laughs> name. Oh, my name is Darian. Wait, so we're going to come to you, uh, Kinza, because you need to explain where this name came comes from. But no, back no. to you, Roland. Okay, so I met him as Loki. He came to me to to record vocals, to send his vocals to Joburg for a mixtape he was doing with D3, Baran Taka. But when I oh, met okay. him... I was I was very impressed with his ability and his skill. And, and we met before. Of, did we? When and yeah, where? Roly. Zoom. Okay. Yeah, I met I met I met thousands of people in Zoom, bro. I'm talking about yeah. <laughs> chicken and chicken and I used to carry mox crates so we can get in for free. Yes, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Yeah, so that's how I met uh Kensei. But yeah, that that's me. Um, please go on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so nervous, bro. Okay, Kenzie, tell us now. your your name. Where does it come from? How did you get it? Let's first start off with what is your ID, Green Book Dompas name? Darian Bartholomew Augustus Elephant. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually thought you were serious. <laughs> Go on. You you have daddy, and that's more than a lot of people have. <laughs> but uh, I can trying, fill in the blanks. Oh, my wife is cutting onions here. You're trying <laughs> to destroy me. <laughs> so um, so most people on on this platform would know me as Loki or Lolo from East Coast Flavor Days. So that was my initial artist name and my introduction into the music industry was as Loki. And um, when Roly and I met, I was still Loki, but also known more as Lolo at the time. So like he said, um, I approached him to record vocals, but then also I got to hear his music production. So I was like, no, bro, I need beats as well. Um, So initially I was just going to do a, a mixtape with D3, there's the DJ. Um, but then hearing Roly's beats, we ended up doing a collaborative mixtape with myself, Roly, and D3. So half of the production, uh, it was called the Above It, Above it All, the Fix Tape. Half of the production was Roly, half of the production was D3. Um, and I wrote all the hooks, had uh, all the songs, had a couple of dope artists featured on it. And that's how our musical relationship began. That's actually the, at the same time that is when that was not- when we recorded "What You Like," which is what seven years. Is that was not really? the clip. Okay, so that was so not the just- clip. And I know the name. Excellent Dodger. <laughs> oh no, I'm getting to that. I'm getting to it. Oh. <laughs> yes. First of all, first yeah. of all, first of all, before you continue, yeah. the full name is Darian Delon Dunn. <laughs> okay, um, but done. Even, even, even then, even then he's lying. The, yeah. <laughs> the ogles. So yeah. So okay. So to give was... the name, we want that information. How did you come out with that name? With Please Kenta. don't dodge the question. Answer a question yes. that we're gonna ask. Now. Don't do, do that. You, okay. 
I'm trying to make the interview interesting by giving you more than you asked me. I can stop no, and just say, I this don't is don't where the name is. I'm quiet and that's right. All right, so then when I moved to, to Joburg um, seven, but roughly seven years ago, yeah, roughly seven years ago, um, I was in limbo with regards to what I want to do musically uh, as an artist <laughs> and so forth and challenges that I was going through at that time. More name changes than Puff Daddy and Snoop Dogg. <laughs> no, only one name change. <laughs> That's what people don't realize. Loki and Lolo was always Lolo was a nickname to Loki. Like people used to call okay, me right. Lolo for short. <laughs> so there's only you can change from Loki to Kensei. Oh, okay. But where did Kensei come from? Yes. So now when I moved to, to Joburg and I was reevaluating um, my direction as an artist and as a creative, I needed to break away from low-key as a persona and what that musical identity uh, meant for personal reasons. Um, so in doing that, in that process, I've always been a fan, a heavy fan of, of Japanese culture, ancient Japanese culture specifically. So kensei is actually a Japanese term uh, mm -hmm. from ancient Japan, samurai days, it means, it means sword saint. So it was the highest level of samurai that you could get. Okay. Um, so kensei samurai were considered one with the blade. Like that was their level of skill. So that is the level of skill that I believe I have when it comes to music. So that's how kensei was born. And then funky is I'm a funky guy. You know, okay. <laughs> so kensei funky. And it just sounded dope. So I ran with it. Okay, so now that you finally answered our question <laughs> that we asked you, <laughs> yeah, we're going to move over to Loli now. Loli? Uh-oh. We know you have been busy in Zoom and busy with music and busy with beats for the past 20 years, right? Okay. What you like? So old ass. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. What you like? What was the inspiration behind that song? Okay, so that song, the version that everybody hears and the one that's on iTunes and everywhere on Spotify is actually a remix. Uh, yep. Kensei did that song with um, Paul, Steinbeck Paul Steinbeck from, from Thrasher, yeah. And I heard it and I was like, yo, I, I want to do a remix of this. And I asked him for the vocals and uh, he got the vocals to me and I started fiddling around with it. Originally, I, I made an R and B version. It was a lot slower. Yeah. In the process of trying to figure out the chords to go with these vocals, I slowed it down a lot just so that I could play along and see where the right notes fitted in, and it sounded nice as a slowed down beat. But yeah, it's actually not the original version. The a version of that song existed before the one that we all know now. It's it's actually a remix of your initial remix. Is it? Because you started as an R&B remix and yes, made yeah, a remix yeah, into what I'm becoming is, a yeah, house yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. guys. So for you guys to come out with that check, how long did it take? Well, okay. So I know the... I'm just going to ask that question. I know the original... <laughs> Get your uh, act together. Already. <laughs> so can you just walk us through how long did it take for you to come out with the vocals, come out with studio time and stuff like that, give us like a time frame and then probably can advise us as to how long it took for him to remix it just so that we know that the song what took like seven years for it to to be to launch or whatever uh yeah so it was actually released back then uh when when we had completed the remix but how it originally came about and how long it took was i was working with a fantastic producer paul steinbank um, in Newlands, in Thrasher, as Rolly said. And we were working on a songwriting and production company type of thing. We were flirting with the idea. So we were busy putting together songs and content and so forth. So What You Like took about a day, I think, the original version. So Paul and I produced it. Uh, no, two days. The day for the music production. And then I took the beats home, I wrote it, and then next studio session, we recorded the vocals. So it was a two-day process for the original song. When I sent Roly the 
vocals. I don't think it took you long, Rolly, to come up with the um, with the, no, with the it, version it, that it we know a, now. It took a hell of a long time because I play. Sorry, Tony told me to lose the toothpick yeah, long before the <laughs> started. I think you know mafia. <laughs> um, it's my it's my distraction from nervousness. My hands are wet, guys. Um, so I play by ear, right? No strength. I don't. Them. So sometimes it's not easy to hear. I don't know chord uh, theory. So like yeah. I'll play a chord and I'm like, that's not right. But I don't know what's the right chord to play. So it, it can be very frustrating. You know Singing what sounds days, wrong? Night, three in the morning. Yes, the right I can't is, find yeah. what sounds right. So so what you like took a, a long time because I didn't want it to sound like a cheap remix. Uh, even when, mm. when Paul Steinbeck heard it, he said to me, I was, what did he say? He said I was very extravagant with the chords or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> because I wanted it to sound. I don't know that's if you remember that. That's a compliment, though. Yeah, yeah, that's a compliment. Kind yeah. Of um, yeah, so it took me a long time to get the chords right. Um, weeks. And eventually I put the R&B version together. And, but I, it sounded nice, but I wanted it to be house. So I sped it mm. up. And reworked the the instrumental, and then, boom, it was done. I'd say you to answer your question before you, say, you tell before me. Before they off, scold you, I'd say it took about. <laughs> I'd say from getting the vocals, I'd say it probably took about three four weeks, only because figuring out the yeah. right notes was hard. But putting the track together, it it doesn't take long. Yeah. Guys, that sounds like relatively short compared to when you listen to these artists that are making CDs and it takes them years. Oh, yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm, so, like, I'm, guys, so, I'm so troubled like, by CDs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> album. <laughs> yeah, well, it, it depends though, Raz. Um, the, the musical creation process, there's no set way of doing things. Every artist has a different workflow. Every artist gets inspiration in different ways. Um, so a, a song may take 20 minutes in some cases to put together. It may take two months in other cases to put together. It just depends yeah. on circumstances around the specific song. Yeah. Um, can I ask Lodi? Okay, so yeah. I picked up that you didn't know how to read chords or something along those lines. So are you yeah. saying that you did not study music, you are just doing this, or you have studied music, you just hadn't studied that? No, no, no. So I, I never went for music lessons. I did, but I was very old at the time, and it was the dying days of this thing they used to have at the university. But as UKZN. someone who makes music, yeah, Ukuza, mm. that program, Ukuza, yeah. that they, they had there. Um, I never really, I buy books, I read books. So you could say I've learned a few things, but I never went and studied as a musician. I never learned to play an instrument in a class with a teacher. Didn't go to a formal it's music just, school. No, type it's of just thing. determination. I know what's in my head and I, I take the time to get it out. It so can all you be frustrating at times. <laughs> Everything. All the productions are purely so your knowledge. Mm. Self-taught. Yeah. yeah. And the instruments you play? Years and years of just fiddling around. Eventually you get the hang of it and you kind of know what's going on. So have you ever thought with this raw talent, if you did actually go to music school? Yes, please you, ask him, please. Yes, you could um, see. Uh, definitely. I just think I'm too old for that now. And to no, learn, to undo, no, no, no. So there's muscle I'm memory in that. my hands. And I'm, I've learned all the wrong things. Yeah. I get out what I need to get out, but I've learned all the wrong things. And learning will probably be easy, but to undo what I've done, the damage I've done, is just, it's almost impossible. But I don't think that it's damage. I think that it's your style and your technique. It might just add yes, flavor. Yes, I know. There are some musicians like uh, Yumir Deodato, one of my favorite artists, completely self-taught, plays by ear. He has albums. He's a legend. So it just depends, you know. Um, another, sorry to go off topic, but another one of my 
I think probably the greatest piano player ever is Errol Garner. His music teacher actually told him to stop coming to lessons because he's going to stunt his natural ability. Mm. So yeah, you don't need to be... Because sometimes formal is it not helps a hell of the a best lot. route for yeah. a specific person. Yeah. yeah. Well, if only you are super talented. I've got yes, to say. Please, please, please. Please, please. please. Oh, well done. Yes, stop oh, it. Well. Yes. yes. Like seriously guys, we got our very own Fidel right here in New Disease. Yes. It's like <laughs> yes, So can I tell you, um in terms of your next track, what's upcoming? Um how many checks have you done at the moment? Because we only know about two. So there's the one with Rolly and then the pancakes what obviously you mean in, in life. No, I'm talking about what's dropping now. Oh, <laughs> so oh, no, officially, wait. yeah, yes. Tell us if you have other songs because you said earlier that what you like had actually dropped previously and mm. only remixed yeah. it. So Drops are there what? Are there any other songs that you have? Yeah, I've been making music since well, officially since 2003. Yeah, but I've not had as tons, tons. as. Oh, as kids, well, I do have a lot as well. Um, it's just that you guys have only been introduced to me from what you like. True. So yeah, I was just going to gonna say, like, sorry, sorry to jump in on your pieces. your part. No, but go yeah, for it. Do uncle. you guys know that that Ken say, if I'm not mistaken, that song by East Coast Flavor, the beginning laugh, ha ha ha, that's you, right? The laugh. Yes. Why are you never tell me? No, the Isn't laugh that is you? not me. No. Wait. Is that Chucky? That's Chucky. That's Chucky. Okay. Laugh. But you are on the track. Yeah, I'm on. I'm on. Besides Valley and Bird, I'm the most featured artist on East Coast Flavor. Yes. Okay. Whether credited or not. Yeah. Because I did okay, backing you... vocals for a lot of the songs. Um, I'm in Explicit song with Ernie Smith. That's me and my homie JJ. That was Explicit. YGB is my group as well, so I mean there, I mean on the floor, uh, yeah. So that's four official songs, and then backing vocals. So I was busy, bro. <laughs> I was very busy. Them, so we can post them, so we can play them, because really, we all about playing the music. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, I've, I've, I've got, right. I've got plenty. But as as Ken say, officially, what you like and pancakes are my two official commercial releases. So they're the first. Releases that are distributed for sale and official streaming as Ken Say Funky. Perfect. So we know we're going to be getting more Ken Say Funky. So the next one, I'm actually busy, busy with it now. I just uh, finished the production yesterday or the day before. So I'll record it sometime in the week as soon as I get a chance. Um, it's different very different to pancakes and what you like just as just how pancakes was really different to what you like um the introduction that i'm giving now in the to the music industry is versatility so i'm i pride myself on being extremely versatile uh, i don't care about genre dope is dope for me so um that's the statement that I'm making now with the next single. It is rap. So the first one was house. The second one was more commercial pop, hip hop. This one is rap because when you're gonna do a song, I'm a singer. Then. It's coming, bruh. It's coming. Okay, so we're Valentine's Day. You got a request from uh, Kenzo, which you're gonna place it on screen. You are going to do a young vocal uh like a short piece there before we close if that's, if that's okay for you even if it's not a freestyle um small, just short one, note one, there a young ha 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 hello wants a note <laughs> yes Ooh, so there's a note <laughs> <laughs> I just remember that before we uh say goodbye to you guys now listen um cool. in terms of writing do you write your own lyrics yes always i wanted to ask you i see that you also dropped you were involved in jp's video or his i directed song and edited i directed okay. and edited it 
you also in that department as well? Yeah, so in terms of entertainment, um, I'm a songwriter, I'm an artist, um, producer, music producer as well, uh, director, music video director, visual director, videographer, video editor, and a graphic designer. Sure. Oh, well done, boy. Thank you. I know. <laughs> it's a lot. It's, <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah. Well done, guys. It's I was never, never in a million years. I mean, we've known Rowley for years. Um, just a young creative, maybe sometimes you'll wave, depending, you know. But like, Tony, <laughs> I remember you. My very first. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You were, you were dancing barefoot in Mark Tucker's house in Cabo Joe. <laughs> Okay, guys, I think this is our last question. Or do we have any more after this? I want to know when is the video for what you like coming out? When we can afford it. We can no, for, real. for real, um, with with myself and I know with Rolly as well, but um, I'm very quality driven. So when it comes to whatever's on 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 my name, whatever I give to the to the to the public, I want it to be of the highest quality standard in in anything that I do. Um, what you like being as well received as it was and is. Because. It deserves a proper video, just like pancakes Absolutely. as well. So I've delayed my EP because I'm working on an EP as well. I've delayed that to give pancakes and what you like the full attention that it needs and the, the full work that it needs to reach as far as possible. And that needs visuals. So we definitely have to do a video when we can do it. It's a, it's a, but it was a big challenge for, for myself and Rolly for our song because of geographical locations um, yeah. and because of COVID, what COVID did to us as well. So when, we, when the stars align and we can do it and do it the way it needs to be done, it's definitely going to be done. And Rolly will we definitely have- be in the video, even though he doesn't want to be. <laughs> the stream advertising the day. <laughs> Like to be part of this video. So if oh, ever you guys are looking, <laughs> on I mean the CVs are out here in our comments for you. Well, you guys cannot see it, but it's happening over here. So, no way. but anyway, that's that's, uh, that's I it. I can't us. see. I'm watching behind here. Cool. Oh yeah, trail screen. Guys, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us on the fan zone. It is a um, pleasure. Thank you. Thank you thank for having you me. And you. One at a time, pick up your hand. Also, <laughs> um, I would like to say thank you to Kenze Funky who actually did a jingle for us, Yay! which we are gonna play. Yeah. We're waiting for your jingle from you. No competition there, but I'm just You're saying. Going to wait. You're going to wait. <laughs> if you had the jingle, it'll be worth the wait, guys. <laughs> yeah. We're waiting. We're waiting. So but it's only coming with requests uh, here. Oh, yeah, all in. Okay, guys, out from you guys to us. Um, later, Fader, thank you so much. Oh, sorry, one more thing before you guys go. When uh, when are you guys going to be doing this this song live? Kenze, are you coming down anytime soon? I'll be down from the 25th of November until the 30th, but I'm going to be very, very busy. I'm, I'm actually coming down for a wedding, for my sister in law's wedding. Uh, and it's not in Durban, but it's in KZN, so I'm going to be up and down. Um, I'm going to try and see as many of the people as possible. I did promise you, Tony, that if I do get a cap, even if I come, because you guys are having an event, when is it again? 28. No, uh, 27, yeah. sorry. See my skills, I'm right. plugging. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, so, so if I if I can, I'd, like I said, even if I stand on the road and I'm like, hey! Drive you course. know? Or a live um, A live performance. <laughs> oh, you're booking me. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, thank you for joining Much us. Much love. Um, all the Are best we... to the best yourself. Um, also, uh, sorry, one more thing, Rowley, from us. 
you are now a verified artist. Can you just walk us through that feeling? Can you tell us how long it took you to get there? <laughs> what? Oh guys, God, sorry. Guy, we were right at the end. We were right I, at the end. Spotlight is back on. Pop up on Google. Like, that is the most fa fascinating it, thing I have ever was, seen in my life. It was, it was, it was, I can't explain it, guys. I was emotional when I saw it. <laughs> when it popped up and it told me these things, I was like, no, She seems to just, but I not ask, did they not give you like a notification to say, well, we have accepted and you are now verified artists? Is it just like there? Were you just, did where's, you just keep checking? verification, bro? <laughs> um, it's on, it's on uh, what do you call this? iTunes, uh, Spotify. Oh, it's okay. just that little tick, you know, that little tick yeah. that they put next to your name no, to say that's the real oh, that is him. Yeah, um, yeah. Google rejected me. I had to send a photograph to them <laughs> with uh, holding up my ID book. I had to hold my ID book next to my face, take a selfie, and Who send it to guy? Google. And they, they came back to me saying, No, sorry, that's we can't, <laughs> we can't verify that that's you. So anyway, because you still fine. have an ID book, bro. Um, Imagine what, what that photo looks like compared to my ID I, I book saw... is from 1995. I was 20 years old when I got that ID book. Mine's from 97. Yeah, I still got it, and I still have yeah. it. <laughs> Wait, Lowly, um, what is the like application process? Do you have to do so many things, submit so many things? So, like because basically. I was verified on other platforms, so when when I go into Google. If there's a little side panel that pops up, if you if you Google the famous person, I'm not saying I'm famous, but if you Google Steve Sarkali, it'll give you the Google search, and then there'll be this little window on the side that gives you kind of like a little bio. It tells you who they are, like an official mm -hmm. thing. Then at the bottom, it <clears> says, claim this information. So it's like, okay, that is me. Let me claim it. And then I had to go through the whole Google they process. Like, no, but no, that's that, not you. That's, yeah. <laughs> but with Spotify and iTunes and all of that, there was no process involved. Just because I'm through an official distributor, mm. it's, it's an automatic process. Cool. Well, we were very, very excited. I'll you. never forget that. <laughs> I was like, excited, guys. I was excited. Like, um, thank you so much for joining us in the fan zone. Kinza, we hope to bump into you when you go. Hello, Carl. Much love. Much love. Um, guys, thanks so much for taking the time up to speaking to us about you guys, informing us what's moving and shaking. You know, what's only one last Wait. thing, guys. No, so many last Wait. things. No, no, no. It's quarter to seven. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, like to speaking Listen, to you guys. guys um, you guys, if I'm not mistaken, what you like is now a TikTok thing, or is it Roly? Some of your songs are now TikTok thinged. What's what's going on there? No, it's so so through through the distributor, um, the distributor that we built, we're both using. When you upload your songs, it uploads it to all of these platforms. So the okay. songs automatically filter through to TikTok, Deezer. There's some that I don't, I've never heard of before, but I focus mainly on the main ones. But yeah, it filters through to all these platforms. So if somebody uses our song on TikTok, we do get credited for it. So, so you, know, you know the 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 videos that people post the um, the stories with songs playing. So if you want to play what you like or pancakes Excellent. or any of Rolly's um, songs that are official, you can choose the song on Facebook, on IG, on TikTok, so on and so forth. Yeah, yeah. And it helps us. So please, if you love, so it's it, cleared. Too. It's cleared for use on Facebook, on Instagram, on all of the platforms. Obviously, yeah. playing live streams like we're doing is frowned upon, but if it's officially used in something, it's perfectly acceptable and we will actually yeah. get paid for it. Can I say something now? You certainly can. Can we do a TikTok challenge to what you like? Yes, please do. Don't When you say can we, are you talking about you and <laughs> no, Tony? <laughs> no, that includes like, me and I am not doing Can we TikTok. like put out there to our organization? Can we start a TikTok Absolutely. challenge? Right. Absolutely. That's why the song is there. It's for people to use. Yes. Okay. So I so, think yeah. we begin to no, not me, down. not you, gonna zabalaza. You, you know, must... Tony. I'm not saying that you must do it. I'm saying on rock, we're gonna put the yes, but you, out. You need a dance first. 
You understand what I'm saying? You yeah. record first, and then this is the song that you attach it to, and then you spread it out, and then you say, what you like. Chilling. No, well, the person oh. that has the best dance, that puts it out, okay, the rock can carry on. Music video producer, yeah. Your no, Here I'm the big... <laughs> Here we go. Right, guys, that is us. We are out. Thank you so much for, for joining yeah. us this evening. No more last things. Uh, and you're not okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was a lot. That was a lot. Oh, cool. oh no, not sorry, no. wait. Oh. Yeah, no. Can I say no, something wait. now? I'm it gonna have not. to go and have another full bath because I'm full sweating now. Not only my hands are wet. <laughs> I'm dripping here. <laughs> okay, so we we get flagged on Facebook for playing certain songs, right? Rolly, now that your yeah. song is flagged. Do you guys get a notification? Because we, we don't know how this thing works. Do you guys get a notification to say that someone else is what, what, what with your songs? Or how does it work? I don't. I don't care. Maybe so, the distributor gets a notification, but not me. Okay. Can I ask you just write to those people and tell them that we can use your songs now during the stream because we're going to be playing? I can't. Well? On my official Where? artist page, I cannot yeah. even post my own song. I can't. That is how star my distributor no. is. You know, maybe you, you having, a good you, you having some hectic issues though, Rowley. Like I can post my my stuff and they don't find yeah, it. Yeah, so I, I learned I learned this little thing. If there's a still image with the song playing, it's a problem. If there's moving stuff, it kind of lets it slip through. Mm. So you can't so just have like that. Yeah, just move. It, just move. It's a fancy <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. I promise that was the last thing I needed to know. <laughs> Lies. Lies. I'm gonna click leave now. Okay. Bye -bye. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Otherwise, we're not gonna go. <laughs> Guys, we out. Peace out, yo. Uh, Thank you. We will catch you guys in the stream. Thank you so much. Thank Love. You. Thank guys, you. bye. Bye. Woo. Those are super talented guys. They are guys. It's actually it's actually un freaking believable. The talent like this is right here. Yeah. I mean, we can spit from Roseanne's house to Rolly's house. And obviously, Kenze is from Durban. He's now staying. Why are you frowning? He's now staying in um, Joburg. So you will be down, not obviously to meet and greet everybody. Um, also, one last thing with regards to Kenze, he has dropped his brand. So, um, merch. Thank you. So, merchandise. Um, if, if I'm not mistaken, on his page, Kenze Funky. There are t-shirts and goodies there. If you guys click on it, send him a message and stuff like that, then you guys can get his, uh, yeah, his much. Can we play what you like now? Okay, so we've got 10 minutes. Um, I need to reroute everything out here. I don't know why Rowley was acting so stressful or stressed about this. I don't know, you're not stranger to this. Wait. You're no stranger to this platform and yet, like, I don't know. Doesn't I don't understand. Um, okay, so let's see what's moving and shaking now that the audio is doing its own thing. I wonder if you guys will even be able to hear this. Okay, so as I said earlier, guys, Kenze drops us a jingle um, Monday, if I'm not mistaken. So we're gonna play it now, and then we're gonna swing into into what you like. I hope it plays because you know things can just be funny, yeah.
Sorry about that. I actually rerouted the sound um, into Soundflower. I think it's sounding much better. I hope now that you can actually hear me. <laughs> so, I was going to say if it's nice, play it twice. Okay, you can hear me. No, we've got pancakes to play. Like, guys, so that was the two special guys that we had in our, in our studio today. Um, big shout out to Kinze Funky as well as uh Roland Elephant or Roly. DJ Roly as we like to call him. Um two special people well kids that we've just met. Roly's been a special guy to us for quite some time now. Uh eighty percent of the reason why we are the yeah, fan zone is because today. of the actually it's ninety five percent of yeah ninety five percent um he is ninety five percent of the reason why he always said when we were doing Martini Mondays guys that we need to actually get our own show um, and just subalize the things. And I think it works out quite nicely because we get, like, all these things that Roly told us today, guys, we did not know. So I don't think we would have actually found a chick that flies here. Well, it flies, what is it? You can end up smacking me. Uh, I don't think we would have found out all this information about the guys if we were still at Martini Mondays. So, yes, guys, that's our December check. Um... We've got one more that we're going to play out with. It's by, D by DJ, listen to me. It's by Kenzo Funky. It's called Pancakes. Anything? Okay. So basically, um, Wednesday, we are covering depression. So just trying to get talking about the topics that people don't like to talk about. Remember, guys, we do have some special guests that we're going to be speaking to on Wednesday. But if you would like to share your journey, Give us a call, send us an inbox, get in contact with Tony. Her number is always online. Just let us know and we, you can come through and you can share your journey with us. Okay, so that is us out, guys. Um, it has been an absolute blast. Uh, as always, we will catch you guys, as Ross said, on Wednesday, Wednesday at, at 6 p.m. Oh, my. <laughs> what? Okay, guys, this is this is Pancakes. It is by Kenze Funky. 
I'm going to play my jingle one more time because it is sounding 100% through the, now that we, you know, plug the cable in properly. Play the jingle. Yo, what's up? Baby, let's go! What up? It's the funky samurai. Can't say funky. And this is the fan zone with Tony and Ross. Only on Radio of Color. Away. Away. Let's ride until the sun comes up over my shoulders while you scream at hallelujah. Back in two years where I'm hitting, we flip it like I'm a sutra. Fuck them They hate that you popping it for a shoot and match your sugar. But I'm sweet with the D and you got that cool out. Hella juicy with the booty. I'm drooling for Miss Patootie. Tell your friends that you're cool and let's cruise to where we can do it. We get on it on some ratchet and spanking, clapping maneuvers. Let them sue us, we won't stop until we through. It's like the whole world rocks when you walk on by and hit the blunt yet, but you got me high. I'm thinking to myself, how'd you get so fly? I backslide for your backside. <laughs> wobble, 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 make that thing shake. thing shake Girl, I'm finna eat you like some pancakes, like some pancakes. Wobble, 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 drop it to the floor drop it low, drop it low. You know that he coming back for more We gon' chill, we gon' flex, we gon' drink, we gon' sex Hit the drink, then we 